Hey there, Fallout fans! It's McFly back again with another Fallout 76 scrap farm. We're right off the coattails of Farm and Cork, and that was quite the grind. But we got it. I hope we got it. I had originally planned on asking Reddit where to find Cork. Turns out nobody had any locations, but they did have a dirty mind. And we always had a few days to rest, but I got my buddy Reddit here, and he's gonna help us find some plastic. Alright, let's be really simple here, straight down the middle, Fallout 76 plastic farm. We got a couple nice visual aids right here on the front page. But we're looking for reddit. Bingo! Alright, I think we got a winner here. Basically title. I'm struggling with crafting shotgun ammo. I'm fine on lead and other materials, but always end up not having enough plastic to craft a good amount. Any tips? Before we go any farther here, I'm just probably going to bestow the best tip I can onto you when it comes to farming plastic. I want you to go into your scrap box. I want you to pick out a molded plastic. Go into your junk in your pit boy and activate this fancy little feature that lets you just see the components. From here, we're just going to select the plastic itself. And boom bam, there you go. From now on, everything you find out in the wasteland with plastic in it will have a little magnifying glass next to its name. Truth is, plastic is just about everywhere. But let's see if anybody commented any good locations. First comment here says, High school. Lots of plastic pumpkins and cafeteria trays, forks, not to mention all those TV dinner trays. Also, the lab has a chemical bench so you can scrap them as you leave. Really handy. I couldn't agree more. This is a great spot for plastic. The only thing I would say is we need to learn the difference between TV dinner trays and cafeteria trays. The cafeteria tray is the one we're looking for here. It actually has the plastic and it's a blue color. And the TV dinner tray is aluminum and it has like crusty food on it. Our first stop is Morgantown High School. Like I said before, plastic is just about everywhere. So I apologize if I've missed any on screen. You might find more than me. You may find less than me. It really depends on your visual prowess. But if you follow along to the video, you can see I'm looking for enamel buckets. There's a couple bowling pins, umbrellas, mainly plastic pumpkins. And then once we get to the cafeteria, you're going to be looking for like more plastic plates, plastic spoons, plastic forks, all that. All of this leading us to the end of the hall till we get to the gym. There's tons of plastic if you look around. Mainly we're looking for plastic pumpkins, golf balls, bowling pins. Super good spot. Next comment here is for actual shotgun shells, not plastic. And he's just telling him to go kill some mole miners. Actually, this Reddit's a little weird. It's basically just people having more conversations than it is plastic locations. I'm just going to skip to the bottom, which is another great location, the Watoga High School. Obviously not a spot for all my lower levels, but one of the best spots in the game for plastic in my opinion. You might have to deal with some robots and or feral ghouls if the event is active, but what you want to do here is walk straight back to the cafeteria and basically pick up everything you see. Plastic plates, plastic forks, plastic spoons, plastic knives. For the future of the Atlas event, I definitely recommend that you pick up the cloth napkins and the glass cups as well. And then when you're done with that, you're going to hook a left into the kitchen and keep going. and then up one more flight of stairs you can find a little bit more. Now this is just a quick run, if you want to take your time and just walk around the building you'll find many globes and other types of plastic things. And with that being said, I think we graduated high school and we can move on from Reddit. Now the next spot is arguably the best, and you all have probably already been grinding it for the past four days. I'm talking about the White Springs Golf Resort. You can basically recycle the golf ball farm you've been doing for the past four days, but then add in a whole bunch more to it. If you follow on the screen, you'll find plenty of golf balls, then we're going to head around back to find plenty of plastic plates and knives and all that good stuff with more golf balls. And for this location specifically, I would like to remind you that golf clubs and pool cues also have one plastic each. And there are plenty. After we're done with the main house, we're going to fast travel on the spawn, and then we're going to hook a left down to the little concession stand. And I'm sure you already know this, but if you want to go the extra mile, literally, you can just walk around the whole golf course and look around for golf balls and more golf clubs and all that other stuff. It's really up to you how much work you want to put into this because plastic is pretty much everywhere. And those will be the three main locations that I want to stress the most on the map, but I do have a couple honorable mentions. Not far off from the golf resort, we have the White Springs service entrance. 
Here you'll follow along finding plastic along the way to a putt-putt course. And then just like the golf resort, there's plenty of golf clubs and golf balls around. You just have to really use your eyes and look. And the last location that may be worth your time is Bolton Greens. We were just here before farming golf balls, but now we're going to be farming golf balls and a lot more. Oh, and just a last reminder, make sure that you scrap those pool cues and those golf clubs because they do not count as junk. And that's about it. Like I said, there's plenty of plastic out there in the world. You just have to go find it, but these are probably some of the best locations in my opinion. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. We put a couple rough grinds behind us, but now we're on a plastic and this one should just be a breeze. And then next week is meat week. I cannot wait. As always, likes are always appreciated. If you guys want to see more Fallout 76 farms overall entertainment like this, feel free to click on my channel down there and work away. As for me, I'm going to go try to get Graham's autograph. I'll catch you out there in the wasteland.